Hello everybody, my name is Brahir and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. Finally, the Cossacks has been released today, so we're gonna start a brand new campaign. Um, yeah, I have not been able to play in a long time. I've been out uh, in Europe, I've been in France with my wife. We've been to Paris, we've been to Alsace over here, we've been to Amboise. Around here, it's like the Lord River, probably around here. We've been to Normandy, over here. So yeah, we enjoyed the trip. Almost three weeks in France. But now I'm back and the Cossacks has been released. So, let's start a brand new achievement series. Now, um, most people will probably start with the, the Horde mechanics. They want to try the horde thing and i will be doing two achievement runs at the same time and i will be starting a horde achievement series soon but i have added achievements achievements for custom nations and to be honest i have never played a custom nation because well it feels like cheating and yeah there's like no objective i i, I like the idea of you for of not having an objective but I like the idea of achievement like having a, a goal and once you get the goal you can because in order to get to achieve a goal and achievement there's like infinite ways to do that but I like the idea of a goal so now we have custom uh, achievements for custom nations and the ones I want to do is first come first serve that's right, it is starting as a custom nation with no more than 200 points Western tech on all of North and South America. Yes, and trust me, that is not an easy, I think it's not an easy because you don't have to spend more than 200 points and just by being a Western tech in South America or North America, it costs 150. So. You only have 50 points to spend on other things. You will always spend some of them in the province you're taking. Now, where can we go? Well, of course, the first thing most people th like comes to mind is yeah, go North America. There's a lot of places to expand, to conquer all this one province. Miners, I get it. That is tempting, but to be honest. I'd rather go here. Why? Well, if I can take all this land because I have tested and my idea is to have Western Tech and start with the colonies so I can start colonizing right on the very first day. And if we can blockade the Portugal and Castile, then this would be a very easy run, I think. Because we'll be able to take all of South America and from there blow up to North America. Because if we start here, yes, we will have all of this. But I guess we will have to fight Spain, Portugal, over the colonies over here. And I want to avoid that. So, where to start? Well, there are a lot of places to start with. And I like this one. Why? Well, first of all, it costs one. Right, it costs one. It is next to Bahia, which has a 14 point development which, because it has a central. Uh, what is it called? Yeah, one of these central trades. It has an estuary. So we can start colonizing Bahia right away. And we can start taking all these little guys. So we're gonna start in, in Hambupe. Of course, we will not be called in Hambupe. Now, Let's go to the to this thing. So, uh, Techno Group. We need to be Western. Culture, it doesn't matter to be honest. Now, there are two other things. Let me check really quick the achievements. So, there are five achievements for custom nations. One is start as a custom nation with no more than 50 points. So, we cannot do that. Start as a custom nation with the full 800 points. No more than three total development. Uh, I think this will be applying because this is the ideas guy achievement. 
because we'll be spending less than 800. We will check it in a second. Now, first come first serve, of course, that as a Western tech custom nation in North or South America with no more than 200 points and unite the two continents. Now, there are two others, which is for Odin, that as a North custom nation with no more than 200 and owns can own and course Scandinavia and Baltic Isles and convert them to Norse or rekindling the flames which is start as Zoroastrian and uh, take the idea the decision to rekindle the flames okay um, I like the idea for for Odin. I like the idea of being Norse over here because well, we will take all of North America, and from here we can jump into Scandinavia. I think the Zoroastrian means take some land over here, because this is like, if I had to guess, since this is the only Zoroastrian province in the game, I would guess reclining the flame means taking some of these guys, which I'm not going to bother right now. So, we're going to start here. We're going to be... Pagan and Norse religion. Okay, culture. So we can be like um, Scandinavian. Why not? We can be Norwegian. Yeah. It's like a an exploit. An expedition from Norway came all the way down here. <laughs> Uh, South America, despotic monarchy. I think we will stay as despotic monarchy. Or maybe a theocracy, I think. I don't know. Maybe despotic monarchy. Feudal monarchy. We'll see. Now, this doesn't change to be honest now ideas first of all uh, we need a colonist okay now what else do we need global trade power no I want more colonial range I think yeah more colonial range now what else moral of armies what do we want here? I think we want to like have a very strong uh, fleet to dominate and prevent the, the Europeans to come here. So let's check it out. We want like Navy tradition. Let's have some Navy tradition. What else? Um, let's see. Light ship combat, light ship cost. I will have light ship combat ability. We'll see if we can. Now, we need military ideas. So, what do we want here? Um, Let's do national manpower. We need the moral of armies, moral of navies, national unrest, discipline, trade efficiency, land maintenance modifier. This is my ambition. Let's go for ambition. No, I want, I want, where is it? Maybe change this interest reduction. No, not the interest, the inflation. Where is the inflation? Early inflation reduction, over here. So we have too much diplomatic ideas, too many. 
let's remove some actually we can first of all let's let's kill not kill but let's have crappy rulers that will give us some extra points 196 now we have 61 percent and that is affecting this national ideas it's taking 17.2 so if we bump this you can actually see i bump it by 9.2 and stay the same how about here look at that more points so we have nine points to spend now Yeah, I don't want too much colonial range. I think 10 is okay. Um, hmm. So, yeah, we could do the full customization. I'm not gonna do it right now. Now, I have nine points to use. Let's bomb some. Admin points, there you go. A three zero zero. Um, how are we going to call? Let's do five randoms one, two, three, four, five. Otter Af Vendel. Okay, we are Otter Af Vendel with. Rackwalde as our heir. Feudal monarchy. Do we want feudal monarchy or despotic monarchy? Let's stay with despotic monarchy. Now, this gives us. Um, <laughs> what do we get? Where was it? Where was the... We get an extra diplomat? I think we can become a duchy and have 10 extra points for more, more of this. We want almond points. So we can have reach tech 5 as soon as possible. Let's bump the age of my heir so we can kill him faster. Okay. Ideas. Now, name. How are we calling call yourself? How are we going to call ourselves? We can call this for Odin. Odinians? I don't know. Now, let's do. Oh, map color. Map color yellow, no blue. I like some kind of purple, maybe. White, black. There you go. I like that. Now, give me a good one. Let's see, emblem. Give me like a ship. Is there a ship? No, there's a fish. Okay, let's do the fish. A background. That oh plus a circle okay 
No, let's do. Let's do the circle. Will it be? All right. Yeah, that's ugly. Is it? Oh, there you go. That's a purple thing. Oh, we can use the cross. Yeah. Let's use no emblem. No emblem. Okay, now. <clears throat> oh, there you go. I like that. I like that combination. Okay, so for Odin, Odinians. Okay, already? Yes. Okay, so let's start this game. So, Iron Man on. I will go to the cloud. For Odin. So here we are, we're Western Tech in South America. Here. <clears throat> oh, we have never played with the Norse over here. You have to select Deity? Deity? Oh, awesome. So, Odin Freya. Please tell me this. Uh, settlers? No, no settlers. Your legitimacy. Build cost, tech cost. Well, I will say Freya because of the tax modifier. Let's see. So, let's give a quick look at the new stuff in this. So, first of all, I love this. So, we can have these three achievements. We can start over here for Odin and Ideas guy. I love that. So now we can choose what achievements to do. What else? Over here's nothing. So, uh, do, 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 do. do we need to focus? Probably not. We'll wait. So, there's uh, some changes over here. What is this? Force migration. That's a new CB. So, you can see there's a lot of new info here. There's revanchism. That's when you... When you lose a war and you give up land, there's like a... A, a bonus your nation have for... For a couple of years, like for 15 years, depending on the amount of... Of war score you give like if you if you lose a war and you pay like 60% war score then you have a certain amount of time and revanchism gives you like extra manpower recovery extra tax and yeah it's just to avoid being attacked and can't be able to recover after a, a defeat so this is score. Yeah, they give it a lot of inf I mean, just like uh, paradoxes started to look up to the score thing. So they added the victory cards, which gives like a, a specific goal, which gives score to you. They added the leaderboards. We cannot participate in the leaderboard because we have Castle Nation, but on our next achievement run, 
we will participate on the scoreboard which is you can check out the paradox website um, so yeah there's a lot of information here show diplomatic feedback this is how we select what provinces we need we want specifically like we are interested in Bahia okay we can select this is our province of interest uh, we want all of this we want all the coast so all of you know that see that's it we want all of this show opinion what else this is the same we're making 0.16 ducats not too much uh, the other the transfer trip power to us this is the other this information here tech I don't th I think there were some changes in tech I think in how military tactics are spread out uh, yeah I read something about that in the patch notes ideas we have our Odinian ideas. Awesome. Oh, they changed the uh, sp spionage. Now you can study tech. But the problem is with that, they promoted like, hey, new changes to the espionage. But you, need, you still need to take the idea. And for me, it's not worth it. Because, yeah, study tech, basically, you can send a diplomat to any nation who has two levels above a few in tech and you would get plus one on each of the of the different more points you are behind but in order to get that you have to spend all of this so it's not worth it for me it's not worth it they added agitate for liberty which is basically you can give a 25 percent liberty desire to any vassal if you send a diplomat but you need the, the espionage ideas. So what else? Decisions. From Scandinavian. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Religious sacrifice. Encourage divination. Introduce a vision. What? Oh. Awesome. That's permanent? This is permanent. Good. Vision quest. Okay, splitting of Norse rituals. Good. Those are permanent. All permanent. Get access to the three through this one. Um, I'm not going to take this because it was in a second basically um, if I take this although we, we will get the, the claim yeah I will take it because once I send a colony here we'll get access to the sea through Bahia and this will be cancelled but it's okay we have a claim so they change this also you can see what exhaustion and stability is over here and we have disasters over extension we have an expansion tab here. What does it mean? Now you have to select your uh, your policy through natives. For example, like I want to send my colonies. You can. I have to choose a policy for natives first. So native uprising chance negative one hundred. That means no uprisings. That's good. This is only fifty percent and fifty percent assimilation. That means. When you assimilate the natives, you will get 50% more bonuses. And of course, kill them all, plus 20 global settlers. And to be honest, I like that. I want to expand as fast as possible, and that means more settlers. So, let's do that. Norse, okay, Freya, Odin, we have to pick one. I will pick it in a second. Military, well, now they added this checkbox. You, if you forget, like, let's say I don't pay any maintenance, and if I have this checked when I declare war, it will automatically go up. That is really, really good. 
Now, what else? Uh, I don't know if they added anything else over here. Recruiting an admiral. No. We don't have subject. And of course, we have the introduction of states. To be honest, I still don't know too much about states other than what we saw in the dev diaries. So states are like um, groups within your nation that wants over time they want more power and depending on the, on the loyalty of your state and the power they get they give you bonuses or penalties and we will learn about states as, as we play and if you give too much power to your state you will eventually they will eventually want to try and get seize control of your nation and like overrule you and take you out of power so you have to be careful not to give too much power to a specific state all right let's go and jump to this um what do we have here do you have theologian no okay statesman oh the other uh, this also which is really good you can see there's only uh, level 1's advisors. That's it. When you have, I think, less than 30 or 50 uh, decades of income, you will only get level 1 advisors. So, there, there used to be these this rare cases that you start a game with a small nation and you can only have like level 3, level 2, level 2. And there's no way you can... Uh, you can get an advisor so now you're guaranteed to have level ones and have three options okay uh, I'm not going to pick anyone yet <clears throat> and maintenance modifier 10% not worth it so let's take tax modifier land leader shock for defense Trade efficiency. How much are we making on trade? No, I would do the. I think I would do the tax modifier. Yeah. Now. I need a new three and one. I think we can do one more cavalry. Yes, we can. All right, so what are we gonna do? First, we're gonna send this guy. We're gonna, can we pick rivals? No, don't worry. Now, we're gonna declare the war. What is this? Oh yes, now this diplomatic feedback, which means um, you can be f have, yeah, like have friends and favors. We will talk about this in a, in a second. Um, we're not gonna be friends with them. This is usually for allies. Like right now, you can tell an ally that you are gonna go war to go to war and ask them to prepare for it. You must be allied to ask them to prepare for war, okay, and or to raise your trust. The more trust you have, the better the opinion over time, and favors are gain, uh, like accepting an alliance call, you will gain favor to them, which you can spend um, on your own favor, for example. Okay, well, let's go back to this let's declare war now forced migration this is a new ECB but the problem is forced migration is you will tell them to move but you will not conquer the land and I don't want that I want to take this province so let's do this okay let's go to speed 4 because yes we do 
want to go speed 4. See, now you failed because of that. And we have now two more. Look at that. I will take this. Of course, I will do the quick send and recall. It's only a couple of days. There you go. Take the idea. Recall and abandon because I don't want to pay for two colonies. And take the idea to improve prestige. Now, we are gonna lose money here. And I don't want to lose money. So they added this also. Okay, battle. That means no, you don't have. Oh, before, like you were. Am I gonna catch them? Then you compare, like, days of arrival. Now, this official thing. Okay. You're gonna, if you arrive, you're gonna fight them. So, this is a good addition, also. Okay, here they come into Bahia. Okay, let's stop them from doing that. Alright, let's do this. Now, do I want a leader? I don't want to kill this guy. So, okay, I'm 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 okay with that. Let's go and kill them all. Where are you going? We have Lupe. Let's go over there. Wiped. Now, select the army, shift consolidate, and take this cavalry out. I think we can lower this. Also, oh, come on, why is this always open? Diplomacy. Can we fabricate? No. No, no, no. Oh, we have merchants, what the hell? Cannot do anything here. How about we collect? I think we can totally collect from here. Let's see. 18.1, 23.4 goes to 25.4. Okay, this is an event. Do, 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 clergy to appoint a new leader. Uh, this is probably with the Norse. No, this is states. So, let's see. Well, first, I will take a quick break. And when we get back, we're going to check this event and decide what to do. So, stay tuned, guys. Thank you for coming. I'm really glad to be back in EO4. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed these videos. See you guys next time. Bye bye.